thinking about moving to Broomfield, Colorado and just want to learn a little bit more about it? Well, that's what this video is for. Let's get started. I'm a local real estate agent in the state of Colorado, but more importantly, I am a native of Colorado. If you're new to my channel, all of my videos are catered to help you figure out where the best place to move is. If that's something that interests you, please click that subscribe button right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video. Now, as much as I love making these videos for you, I love helping you more. So please reach out to me anytime. My contact information is right there and I'd love to have a conversation with you. All right, so today I'm gonna to be talking about Broomfield, Colorado, and I actually did live in Broomfield for quite some time, so I do know quite a bit about Broomfield. And I'm gonna be talking about the top 10 things that you should know before moving to Broomfield to make sure it is the right fit for you. All right, so the first one is, number one, there's not really a downtown area of Broomfield, and I do find that that is gonna be a little bit of a drawback for some people. A lot of people like the, you know, the quaint little small town or downtown little area where a lot of like festivals or farmers markets or even restaurants or breweries take place. And while Broomfield does offer these things, they do not have a small downtown district that a lot of the surrounding cities have. So if that's something that, you know, is something that you're looking for, you're wanting something along those lines, Broomfield is not going to be it. They just don't have. It. Right, number 2 is going to be the cost of living in Broomfield is about 20% higher than the national average. So do expect that if you're looking into houses or even rentals um, if you're moving to Broomfield. So on average right now, uh, the median house price in Broomfield 2023 is roughly mid 600s and that's really going to get you so a little bit older house and maybe even a smaller house i would say right around 1500 square feet and probably built in the 70s or 80s if you're wanting something newer or larger you're going to be pushing the 800 900 up um, mark as well as rentals are concerned an average one bedroom apartment is going to hover right around that 1500 dollars mark just to live in the broomfield area and i will say the reason why it's going to be a little bit more expensive to live in this area is just the proximity to everything else, which leads me into my number three fact that I want you to know is that it is a great location. It's a great location for so many reasons, especially if you're a commuter. So if you're somebody who loves or needs to work downtown Denver, or maybe even Boulder, Broomfield is gonna be kind of smack dab in the middle of it. It's located about north west of Denver and just east of Boulder, of course. So you're really only about 25 minutes from both cities. So that's why there is a lot of draw to live in Broomfield and why it is a little bit more expensive than some of the other surrounding areas is just simply because it is a great location. All right, my number four fact is going to be it's open space and its parks and trails. There's actually over 8,000 acres of open space and trails and parks. So if you're somebody who loves to be outside and enjoy the sunshine, Broomfield is a great location because they really do, you know, preserve all of these areas for their residents and they want you to take advantage of it. And then kind of piggybacking on that, number five is going to be, it's really close to the mountains. Well, not really close, but you are a lot closer to a lot of the other areas. So getting to the mountains, if you're somebody who likes to ski or camp, you know, you could get up to the main resorts, like let's say Winter Park or Breck or anything like that. It's about an hour and a half. But if you want to head west, northwest out to Estes Park or Rocky Mountain National Park, you're really only about an hour away, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. So it is a great location for somebody who loves outdoors. If you guys want to take, you know, part of the parks, the trail system, or head up to the mountains at any given time, Broomfield is a great location. Now, if you're like somebody who is really into shopping or dining or boutiques or anything like that, my sixth fact would probably be Broomfield maybe not the greatest fit for you. Um, Broomfield does have the, have the Flatirons Mall, which is going to be located essentially right on the butt of uh, Broomfield and Superior. They kind of connect to each other um, right over there off of Highway 36. 
And it used to be such a great place to go 20 years ago when it was built. And now, honestly, it's not all that great. Um, I will say there's just, they've torn down a lot of areas around it. Um, they are planning on rebuilding, so I will give them that. But right now, it's just... I mean, it's fine, but a lot of the major stores are gone. And then as far as dining is concerned, again, you don't have that downtown area with all like the quaint little restaurants. Um, you're gonna have a lot of chains in Broomfield, chain restaurants. Um, it, it's just not, you know, one of those places, like if you were to go to Denver or Boulder, and that's probably where you would go um, if you wanna get something really nice, like a really nice meal or even really nice, you know, retail stuff, clothes, shoes, whatever, you're probably going to go elsewhere outside of Broomfield. Thankfully, though, if you are somebody who does like to eat great food and like to experience local restaurants that are not chains, Broomfield is in the location that it's really close to Louisville, Lafayette, of course, Boulder. So you actually are able to get to those places within 10, 15 minutes. Um, and really get some great plate, uh, get great food, great entertainment. Um, the breweries, the wineries, they're all going to be right there within 10, 15 minutes of Broomfield. You're just not really going to have it in that city. My seventh fact is if you're somebody who's looking for some sort of a great employment or if you're on the job hunt, Broomfield is a great place to go. They have a lot of major players in that area. Um, Ball Aerospace, CenturyLink, Vail Resorts, this is just to name a couple. Um, Broomfield is a really great location to find a job. Again, though, if you want to venture outside of Broomfield, surrounding that area, Boulder, Denver, you're going to have so many great opportunities to find something that's going to, you know, fit your niche um, in no time, honestly. It's it's just a great location. Actually, and they, even in Broomfield, it's called what is called um, Interlochen, which is a lot of tech industry, um, software industry, things like that. So honestly, if, if you're going to be moving here, most likely you'll probably be looking in the Broomfield area for employment. Now, if you have kiddos and you're concerned about the school districts, Broomfield actually is in a great location for schools. It actually shares three different school districts. So you're gonna have Boulder Valley School District, you're gonna have Adams 12 Five Star, and you're going to have Jefferson County. Uh, Boulder Valley is going to be ranked, according to niche.com, um, number one in the Denver Metro. Uh, Jeffco is going to be roughly five or six. And then Adams, actually, I will say Adams is going to be farther down on the list. So if you do move to Broomfield, do you take note of which school district you're going to be in? All of them are great, but some are better than others, of course. And then there is 20 private schools within Broomfield too. So if that's the route you want to go, there's plenty of them to choose from. So you do have, you know, a wide variety of places to send your kids. All right, and my ninth and 10th fact about Broomfield is one, there's going to be 300 days of sunshine. Uh, we get so much sun out here in Colorado in general and Broomfield is no exception. And the views are unreal from Broomfield. So if you're somebody who is looking for those mountain views, you just wanna drive around and see mountains or even get a house that has mountain views, Broomfield most likely will be a great place for you. Now I will say though, Broomfield is known to be a bit more windy because we do get the winds right off of the Flatirons Mountains. So it just kind of pushes and just hits Broomfield. That's the first city that's usually hits. So do note that, is it crazy? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, sometimes I guess it could be, but that is irrelevant sometimes, but for the most part, I mean, it's nothing crazy. It is just going to be a little bit more windy than some of the other areas. Um, but the views, the sun, the weather, everything out here is just fantastic. All right, so those are my top 10 facts about Broomfield. If you have questions about anything else, please let me know. Remember to click that subscribe button right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video. And then to the next video, take care.